Paradise Decay TM. He's um, a, a, a Yognor, he's a long time awesome guy who's made some amazing, amazing stuff. They say nobody walks in the City of Angels, but she had legs that went all the way down to the sidewalk and up the stairs to my office. She rolled inside like the morning fog, moist and mysterious, and a little bit chilly. The one look in her eyes, and I knew things would be heating up fast. I said, what do I call you? And she answered, Cherry Pops? Something told me it wasn't her real name. Then she started blubbering about some cool cat named Vincent who'd split the scene, leaving Cherry with a broken heart and the kind of deep aching void only a good private can fill. And the closer I got to my client Cherry, the deeper the mystery got. See, Cherry danced at a mobbed up Sunset Strip joint called the Smoking Barrel, and her boss, Tony, was the one and only son of Don Luciano. Capo de Tutti. Tutti de Capi de Tutti Fruity Capo de. What? He, he was the West Coast Cosa Nostra boss. He was freaking bad. I'm um, sorry, where was I? Oh, right. Anyway, turned out Cherry's massive pendulous skills had come to the attention of Kim Bong and Jim Bong Sick, proprietors of an even shadier LA flesh palace known as the Twin Dragon. So when the smoke and barrel's top stripper disappeared one night, Tony Luciano knew just where to look. Don Luciano prized an eye for business above his son Tony's view of the world through the sights of his gun. He'd given him the nightclub to run to get him back on the high road. But Kim Bong Sick had kidnapped my client Cherry Pops, the only human Tony Luciano had ever warmed up to. And Tony couldn't even spell negotiation. All right, any one of you that speaks a word of English, Tell them loopy twins you work for that I'm here for what's mine. Oh, did you hear me? I said, bring me Cherry Pops, or this Desert Eagle's gonna say it louder. One, two... <clears throat> Diplomacy and tolerance weren't numbered in Tony's talents. He liked to shoot first and ask... Well, he just liked to shoot. He wasn't much for questions. You hear me now? <laughs> Can't see these moves. But for Tony, finding Cherry on his own called for stealth and deduction, and all Tony had were a lot of bullets. Didn't I just reload? In my sights! 
It's like they built moats into the walls. Twin Dragon's main attraction was their famous mermaid show, but their star girl, Princess Neptuna, had run off with what she hoped was a prince. Anyway, the club was open only to its armed employees while they auditioned a new girl, and the auditions were tanking. Whoa, whoa. What kind of freaky joint is this? It's ain't natural. All right, you weirdo creeps. I want to see all your gun permits. I got it. Second 
I'm gonna put a hole in you. Give me a noise, baby, says I can get to where you are. Now I'm getting steep. Make him die! Give me a second to reload, I'll give you a third eye. This dump has a bar. You call that service? One by one. <laughs> Wet floor sign, huh? Yeah, you'd actually have to clean this place to get it. Wait! Ah, oh, Madonna Mia! Christ. Ain't you heard of a courtesy flush? What are you looking at? Damn it.
Oof, smells like steamed vegetables in here. Keep your head up, doll. I got bigger fish to fry right now. My mother. Oh. 
bartenders here got a real bad way about them. Ah, that's the ticket. Ha <laughs> ha! You think you can stop Tony Luciano? Damn it. Keep it down, all right? Yeah. Uh, what is this now, a sword fight? Nah, uh. uh. she can't be down here. Cherry's strictly VIP. Tony was his father's biggest shame. Dim-witted, loud-mouthed, and hot-headed. He burned every bridge he crossed and a few for his family. But next to the Sick Brothers, Tony was an angel from above. Uh, well, I never went to one of them fancy lifeguard schools, but if you want out, I can get you out. <laughs> should have left politics! <laughs> All right then, nice to meet you. They got cabs right on the corner. That looks like where they take the quality girls. The Sixth's true origin was shrouded in mystery, but according to my number one informant, Jim Bong Sick had a rap sheet full of murder, graft, and theft while his twin brother Kim Bong was feared from east to west as a killer of young and old and girls. Oh. Ah. oh, so these are the real hard kids. Ah, oh, jeez. There you are, Angel. My client, Cherry Pops, was the very definition of a femme fatale. Feminine and, you know, fatale. The kind of dame who inspired bloodshed and heartbreak, twisting men's hearts till their pockets were empty and their eyes were full of lust. Didn't matter if they were rich, powerful, even dangerous. 
In the end, they'd all spill their darkest secrets and beg for more. Tony? You gotta be kidding me. But thank God you're here, Tony. The Seek Brothers' goons jumped me outside the smoking barrel just before my shift. I thought I'd never escape. Well, the day's still coming out of your check. So what's with the hardware? Is something wrong? You need something wrong. Ain't you heard the fire and smoke? While you were in here playing Dance Dance Revolution, I had to take out half the Pacific Rim trying to rescue you. Now let's get out of here, Sweepy. We got a sunset to ride on into. This way, Tony. There's a secret elevator with the rest of Kimbong's secrets. Yeah, what kind of secrets? The expensive kind. Ah, oh, jeez. Back here, past the curtain. If the road that led to my client Cherry was purgatory, she was now leading Tony deep into a hell from which there was no escape. Or probably it was pretty hard. You know what floor the ambush is on? This one. Go on down. You murdered that guy. <laughs> yeah, well, he started it. Oh, it's like a baby chair. Uh, which squiggle means exit in Asian? That's not Asian, Tony. Maybe it's a puzzle. Nah. They pervert even the most basic things. <laughs> It moved on its own. Maybe Kim wants everybody to look up to him. Just stay up there. I think whoever's on this floor ain't gonna wish us well. You don't have to kill them, Tony. He who has not faith in others shall find no faith in them. Lao Tzu said that. Lao Tzu? Keep cool, baby. I'll try not to shoot him hard. Ah! Wrong doors, Tony! Turn around! Christ! I'm overstimulated, Tony. I want to go home. Baby, you're the first stop. I just need you to get where they can to shoot you. Get it? All right, we're moving. Stay close to me now. Cherry, you hanging in there? This is bad news, Tony. I can't even hear. Oh, uh, you're making me upset. We're not animals here. Oh, what did I tell you? Stay put! But they can see me! They won't! I shot them! No, them! Maron! I see them! Get on your knees, babe. Hey, don't talk to me that way! Baby, I just meant you should duck so they can't get you! Sorry, Tony! Sorry, Lao Tzu! Pick his life! Alright, stay behind me, baby girl. Who's crazy? Oh, man? Who's crazy? Oh, man? Oh, deal, man? Cherry, where'd you go? Tony was sweet on Cherry like he'd never been for anybody else. He never even tried to kill her. Sorry. Don't move a muscle. This hallway looks kind of familiar. Oh! You're gonna get yourself killed! Huh. 
Uh, now, what about that hallway? Oh, Betty's from heaven. I've been here before. Not that way, Tony. Ah, what the hell is this? Monopoly money. What are you doing? That's not even American money. Hold on a second, babe. The international crime and business empire of the Brothers Sick included an elaborate counterfeiting operation. Ha! Mother of God, this is like an actual dream I have repeatedly had. <coughs> ladies, ladies, I just got here. Uh, these guys are ruining my dreams! Come on! You okay, Jerry? I was! Almost done, baby! Remember what that, the uh, Shih Tzu guy Get said? Out. Sweetheart, you know where I can validate my parking? Tony! The freight elevator! That's our ride! Uh, how many of you are there? Get us off this floor, baby! I don't know how to work this! Just mash the buttons! All alone, give or take the hundred armed guys that were closing in on him. But what they didn't know is that Tony, like his namesake, was a tiger. Or I guess maybe a wolf. One of those things you don't want to corner. Jesus. Wait, we can smoke him out. You want to set fire to the armory? We can starve him to death. Get out of here, huh? Come on, say something. Clever. Forget about it. I'll go through the walls. Give me a second to reload, and I'm gonna put a hole in your head. Already? Intruder! I ain't got time for all of this. Now you just get dead and stay dead all the way. Freaking dragon's a real safety hazard. Couple of bullets and it could fall and hurt somebody. Like this.
That's one. Probably two more tops of rain and dragon. Come on. What's your deal? Dragons. Like the Game of Thrones. Tony had crossed the Dothraki Sea and now you. I'm Cirque du Soleil over here. <laughs> oh, 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 not for nothing, but this is a hell of a thing. to me, sweet pea. I don't want to lose you again. Relax, Mom. That's the exit right there. Just put away all the guns before you get me arrested. Oh, oh, cool. Kimbong oh, Six, Tony, the wrath Tony. of the Pacific Rim, the nuclear nub of LA's criminal underworld. According to legend, he was an 11th degree black belt in operating Thetan, one part eagle, one part... Who's ever's in here? Just shoot yourself and save us all some agit already. 
It's Kim Seek. He's really fast. Tony, look out. He's got a toy or something. There are no savings here for you. Oh, I'm so jumping on your face right now. In, deep in a secret place on the most sacred Waifu Mountain. Get him! Oh, jeez, I'm out again. A bright new star lit up the sky, and rainbows appear. Hit him now, not tomorrow. It might be nice to have bullets. Oh, what's the problem? Also, I invented the hammer.
thou lift up Olympus, then fall, Kimboxic. Let's just go home, baby. I forgive you. Look out, Tony! Oh. He's still alive! Father, we were pioneers in the fusion of song and dance. Ah, Jesus! Ow! So I leave you softly, long before you miss oh, me. Oh, enough! I will pay you to die! Aha! My brother, my brother will avenge everything. Goddamn, you bot sicko pricks, wasting my time. What, you think I got nothing better to do? Dragging my day? I must have lost a grand just on bullets already. Uh, well, I guess it could always be worse, right? It can, and it will, Tony. Welcome to the first day of the worst d day. W welcome to the... T You're in for it, Tony. Right. 